Alright folks, my name is Frayne and today we're going to be going over a little bit of gameplay from the SU-100P. It's not a vehicle you'll see a great deal of, certainly not a very popular one, and I had wanted to make a, a, a full video about it. I've got a few clips that I felt were usable, but after piecing it together it was approaching the 30 minute mark and while not my longest video, I'd rather keep it a bit shorter. So we will be doing just the one game for this. Um, this is Fields of Normandy and very unusual in that almost the entire team there, as you can see, has gone towards B. Yeah, doesn't happen very often. Um, please excuse the little donation ticker in the corner, that's not a hint. This is simply, I played this while I was streaming and uh, that's part of my current stream overlay. I've chosen a slightly different position to where I normally would in the north. Um, and we've already got an IU-251 showing up. One shot to the side there, takes him out. It's a 100mm gun, firing APHE. It's very effective, very nice gun. And as you can see, the mobility is also absolutely fantastic. I actually really do like this thing. It suffers a bit from the, uh, the open-topped aspect, as any open-top tank in this game does in the current uh, sort of meta. But it can get around at quite the speed. Someone actually told me the other day that this is uh, the same chassis used on the Object 120. It, obviously a little different, um, I had no idea which one came first, but one is modified from the other and yeah. Anyway, similar speed, similar armour. Now given how uh, sparse our team is in the north, I'm choosing not to push up, especially combined with the vehicle I've got. There is a little bit of movement there. In my binoculars I can see it, it's right under my crosshair, but I don't have a shot in my main camera, so I didn't want to take it, risking giving myself away further in uh, exchange for what probably wasn't going to hit. Just trying to keep my eye over the top of this little ridge. Every now and then, thinking I see a target, but peek out and find there's nothing there. It's not the best idea when you're driving something this soft. The movement I saw was an Ostwind and he is uh, trying to rake this little bush line here, see if he can get a, a hit on me. And I'm feeling a little trapped. There's an Ersatz M10 pushing up as well. And they obviously have an idea where I am. But the enemy has taken C and... Yeah, when... Well, we've got good map control over the caps. We've got good, you know, great control even over the south side of the map. So we're looking good for the winning aspect. But I'm not feeling particularly safe, and I'd, I'd like to feel safe, you know. So I decided let's use this mobility and get out. Hopefully, not get hit as I just show myself over the top of that ridge. We've got a great reverse gear, let's just roll out of here. And we'll try and find somewhere else to shoot from. This was very rapidly, I think, proven to be a good choice, as the uh, Sherman Jumper that was sat behind me just exploded. And the T-3485 on the main road followed suit quite quickly as well, so... If I'd stayed there, I probably would have been next, or potentially even gone with them as... Uh, my ammo rack is on the back, it is very weakly armoured and probably quite capable of exploding when something else nearby detonates. But I've not really got very far I can go without being seen. I know there's still tanks up here so I'm just going to uh, drop back into this church here. Gives me some solid cover, keeps me a bit hidden. Taking a shot at what I thought was a tank over there, maybe not the best plan though, as it just gives away my new position without really doing anything important. But I've got decent vision, I'm reasonably well hidden behind this wall, just knocking down a single section there so I can aim. And thankfully the wall absorb the brunt of the fire from that plane that just tried to strafe me. We've got someone pushing up. 
And I keep losing track of him when I go into scope, so just hang around in third person. I can see over the wall, they shouldn't be able to see me back. There he is. That's who was uh, trying to hit me earlier. And now, I'd really like to tuck back in behind this house and avoid this aircraft. He's already made one pass at me. I'd, I'd like him to not get a second. He crashed into the building doing so. It's taken me uh, four minutes to get a second kill. Probably four minutes that could have been cut from the, the longer version of this video I had planned, but patience and positioning are very important and I want to leave them in. You see the ersatz is moving up, so I'm just aiming over the top of the wall. It's a very good velocity gun, so I don't have to really adjust my crosshair much uh, in the third person aim to, to make the shot hit. And it'll easily punch through the upper plate on that. Not a huge fan of aiming in third person, um, but I, in this case it was definitely easier than trying to take a guess shot through the wall. And now we can uh, just sit and hold our ground. Our team has taken the A and the B point, we're sweeping north across the map and have the large bulk of the map under our control. So there's no need for me to push, we're not in any sort of ticket danger. I know this plays around and I'll have backup soon. So just stay here, keep myself alive and do as much damage as I can. That's all I have to do. Now in the past I've had people tell me that I have yeah, some sort of eagle vision and can see things that they would never spot but I do quite frequently have some pretty large blind spots. Right here, you can see a Tiger 1 clearly firing away, and yet I didn't notice it at all. Now I would love to say I was uh, too focused on the stream to notice, but I really should. Anyway, not knowing he's there, uh, I have decided we're taking the C point, it should be clear. It's time to move up. Someone has pinged him off to the side there, so I turn around to check check what the mark was for, and we find the tiger. He was actually also briefly visible earlier on while I was engaging the ersatz, but uh, in that case I think it's a little more justifiable if I didn't notice him. Our team is slowly thinning out on the ground, that push north has claimed a few victims. And I don't know where anything is right now. We've got the full set of caps, so I'm hopeful that we should be alright. But there's still aircraft up, which are potentially even more of a threat to me than any ground units. And I'm still not feeling overly confident. I'm going to move up cautiously sort of hiding behind the bushes there's a T29 ahead of me who uh, should take the brunt of the fire there he's a, a little more noticeable than me especially when he's got his 50 gals blazing away like that so comparatively I'm pretty stealthy now I'm sure that uh, none of us are particular fans of map designs that allow you to to be uh, shot in your own spawn like this. Although, it is hard, in fairness, to completely eliminate it. I'm certainly not a fan of any players who make an effort to avoid the rest of the battle and push around specifically to get those spawn kills. But in a situation like this, sort of you're driving around and something pops up it would be very foolish to just leave it there and not get rid of it. You're just giving the enemy a chance to come back and kill you later. You have the advantage, you have the map control, you may as well put it to good use. But while this goes on, obviously we've lost everyone towards the south side of the map there. It's a very different situation to how it was in the early game. But things appear to be going quite well. 
Now, I honestly do like this tank, but you don't see it a lot. For something mobile with a good gun, it's really not very popular. And I, I think really there's two main reasons for this, and both of them are tied to its battle rating. It sits at 6.7 in the tech tree, and 6.7 is currently a battle rating that gets up tiered quite heavily, and nobody really wants to play that. But the larger one for it is that it is the only 6.7 vehicle in the Russian tree that isn't either a premium or an event vehicle. So you either bring it in a 6.3 lineup and have your, your top tier vehicle as fairly weak, or you bring it as a backup to a, a 7.0 lineup, in which case it's always going to be outclassed by the alternatives. There is also, of course, the fact that it has a hull brake and uh, a rather large open top make it very vulnerable to anti-aircraft or aircraft uh, coming after it. But it is remarkably enjoyable for what it is. Now, getting back to the match now, you can see the enemy has taken the B-point and our whole team has shifted into the north, so I've decided I'm going to head to A before the enemy gets in there and takes it. So we'll skip ahead briefly for the drive. And some of my teams come up here as well. The enemy did make it to the A-cap, so we're on there, we're blocking that. I'm just trying to look and see if I can find them. There's a bit of firing in the distance, someone just took out a whirlwind. And I'm not really wanting to get into close quarters if I can avoid it. There's certainly a lot of tanks with me, but I don't want to be the first one around that corner. Now, ZSU-37 is attacking something just on either side of that hedgerow, and we've got a lot of rain pushing forwards, so I'm not really expecting to, to get involved in the fight here. But the Panther A has just killed him. That should be what's on the cap with us. However, there's a bit of smoke in the distance. Oh, knock out that Ursat M10 there. Actually, check the replay of this game, and in the replay that bush was still perfectly visible and completely blocked my, my line of sight. But the Panther's taken out the Lorraine, and I'm just going to drive around while he's got his turret turned. And just as before, shoot through the upper plate, take him out. That's kill number eight. Maybe not the best game for a, a sort of single battle high like, the, like this, but... I enjoyed it, it was a good game. Just a shame about the ending. Hull break and bombs do not mix. Now, I wouldn't normally do this uh, with a single battle highlight, but as I mentioned before, there were some other clips. I've decided not to use them in their entirety to keep the time down, but I'm just going to show a few little bits of them. Here you can see Eastern Europe, there is a mouse driving towards the B point. And although he's quite a way away there, about 600 meters, this 100mm gun doesn't really have any problems cutting through side, certainly not on an angle like this. It's the same 100mm as on the T-54s and the 44100. And yeah, with a good reload, I can actually make remarkably quick work of a mouse. It also works fantastically at very long range. Now, I don't know if many people realise this on Fields of Poland, but you can, from this little hill, see into the A-point. And over a few games I've managed to work out the range to this. See there, there's a, a Yak Panther and a Tiger 2 in the field. I'm not a huge fan of sight distance control, but I don't have a complete line of sight on them, so I'm going to use that to help me fire through binoculars instead. Tiger 2 briefly blocked the shot. I'm actually after the Yag Panther here. We'll just reposition until I can see him again. There we are. First few shots here go a bit high. Sight distance uh, doesn't have quite the precision I'd like. Slowly bringing it down until I get the, the shells where I want them. Go 
right through the lower plate. That's Yag Panther one shot at quite a, a reasonable range. It really is a fantastic gun, and I do thoroughly enjoy how mobile this tank is. See, great reverse and great forwards. It's just a shame it's open topped. I think in a, a tank only mode without the presence of aircraft, open top vehicles would get a, a lot more use. But that is uh, all for today. I I do have a few videos of some, some of my lesser played vehicles, I think, waiting to be put together that I will hopefully get out in the coming weeks. But uh, yeah, on that note, I, uh, I thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.